What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and this is Galadex, the $5800 ultimate gaming and editing PC featuring Intel's new 6950X 10-core processor and two GTX 1080s in SLI. I wanted to do something a little different than my usual PC builds for each month, so I decided to go with a white and green build and add some custom work to spice things up. The most important piece for this build to come to life was the case. I've been a huge fan of NZXT for a long time and the white S340 case was perfect for the type of build I was going for. A super compact size with tons of space inside to fit practically anything I wanted. I also love the cable management areas making my job extremely easy. It's hard to believe that you can get a case this gorgeous with amazing durability for such a low cost. If you guys want to check out the case for yourself I'll drop a link down below along with the rest of the parts I used for this build. For cooling, I went with the Corsair H100i V2 AIO cooler and added a few Corsair fans with the white rings to match the color scheme. I also replaced the stock radiator fans with Corsair's SP120s. For RAM, I went with 32 gigs of Corsair's Dominator Platinums rated with a speed of 2400 MHz. And for storage, I have one 400 GB Intel 750 series PCI SSD with ridiculous read and write speeds. I also have a 4TB hard drive from Western Digital, and finally two 512GB Samsung 850 Pros which are configured in RAID 0. Connecting all of these parts together is none other than the ASUS X99 Deluxe 2 motherboard with white accents and RGB lighting. Powering this entire PC is the Corsair AX1200i power supply which is a little bit overkill, but then again what isn't in this build. Every aspect of the PC was carefully planned and I made sure to pay attention to all the small details. I cut up some white carbon fiber vinyl and skinned both of the SSDs so that it blends in with the rest of the color scheme. The rest of the green areas were painted using engine enamel paint which won't come off during high temperatures. It's also resistant to scratches and won't wear off anytime soon. The most helpful tip I can give you guys if you're going to paint your PC parts is stay away from Plasti Dip. I made the mistake of using that in the past and it was a complete disaster. This type of paint is more permanent but the results are 100 times better. There are a lot of parts that were painted like the PCI SSD, the side of the radiator, SSD trays and RAM sticks along with the SLI bridge and the brackets for the PCI power supply and CPU cooler. So yeah, lots and lots of paint was used. Even with all that, the build just wouldn't be complete without the amazing custom sleeves from the guys at Insourced. These are not extensions, they are actually full length power supply cables which is great when it comes to cable management because you don't have all of that extra clutter. What I love about these aside from the amazing quality is the fact that you can fully customize the colors and choose between a white or black cable comb and connectors which I thought was pretty sweet. They also have sleeving for both Molex and SATA power which is awesome. I've used many custom sleeves before but these are hands down the best I have seen yet. If you guys are looking into getting some custom sleeving for your PC make sure to check these guys out, I highly recommend them. I'll drop a link to their website down below. And finally the last piece to this amazing build are the back plates that I picked up from V1 Tech. I'm sure you guys have heard of them already, I've used them plenty of times in my previous builds and they do excellent work when it comes to custom parts. They make custom SLI bridges, fan grills, back plates along with other amazing stuff so be sure to check them out as well and I'll drop a link to them down below. So let's talk performance. Not only is this PC extremely quiet, it's also a monster when it comes to editing video. I overclocked it to 4.3 GHz and I managed to render out a 60 second 4K video file in just under a minute and 30 seconds. For productivity, this thing is a beast. For gaming, well, that's another story. Let's just say I can play GTA 5 maxed out in 4K resolution and achieve over 100 FPS. So yeah, this PC is pretty much future proof for a long, long time. The only thing I'm going to switch up within the next few weeks is the second GPU placement. Right now it's not getting enough airflow since the SSD is blocking the fan, so I picked up a two slot SLI bridge from Nvidia which will give me the option of moving the bottom GPU up one more slot. This way the card will get plenty of airflow resulting in lower temps. So that will do for this video, if you guys really like the PC and enjoy these monthly PC builds make sure to leave a like to show your support. And uh, I will be doing an RX 480 Crossfire build sometime in August, so make sure you guys are subscribed if you don't want to miss out. That's basically it. As always, thank you guys so much for your support, and I will see you in the next video.